Hi guys, Andy here again. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create a bowline knot. The bowline knot is arguably one of the most important knots you should know. It absolutely should be in your top three of knots. Um, and what it helps us do is create a fixed loop at the end of a line like this. So when this is under tension, this loop by design will not collapse. As opposed to knots such as a noose knot or lasso knot, you know, when they are placed under tension, they will by design collapse. The bowline knot will not collapse, so that's a very, very important and useful not to know. So I'm going to show you two methods in this video. Uh, the first method, we're just going to start off like this with the standing line running towards us and we've created a small loop. So this is approximately the side of the loop we're going to end up with because this section of tail here, we're going to lose most of this length as we tie the knot. So just to give you an idea of the, the size of the uh, loop that we're going to create. Okay. So we're going to start off by taking our standing line. We're going to fold it back on itself to create an initial loop. We'll then take the tail We'll bring it up through that loop. We'll bring it around the back of that standing line and then down inside that loop again. And then holding the two strands here in my right hand, I'm gonna pull in the standing line to tighten it all up. And there's the loop we've created. The important point to watch out for here is that we have our tail come down through the center of the ball line. Then we know if we've tied it correctly. Now go through that one more time. So again, we're gonna start off just by folding the standing line back in itself. To create an initial loop, we take the tail and bring it up through the center of that loop, around the back of that standing line, down inside that loop again, and holding those two strands, we're going to pull it tight, and that's our bowline knot. I would create a nice non claspable loop. Okay, so that's method one. So for method two, I have the rope running around my back, so I'm creating a, a very, very large bowline knot here, or bowline loop that I can stand in, essentially. So I'm gonna hold the tail just in my right hand, keep it out of the way and keep it secure. And what I'm basically going to do is create a trucker's hitch on this side. So I'm gonna do that by, again, folding the line over itself, the standing line, to create an initial loop. I'm gonna put my fingers through here and bring through the standing line to create a second loop. I will then take our tail, put it through that loop and hold it securely. So as I pull on the standing line, it's going to now collapse that loop in through here. So you can see, and pull that through. And once that's true, I'll then take the tail and pull it down. And that creates a bowline knot with a nice big loop that I can stand in. So I'll go through that one more time. So again, I'm holding the tail just on my right hand side, keep it out of the way. I'm gonna fold the main line back on itself, the standing line. I can put my fingers through, grab the standing line to pull it through to create a second loop. I'll then take the tail, bring it up through that loop and then hold it nice and tight. And then pulling on the standing line, I can pull the tail and those loops through and then pull the tail down against the standing line and tighten it all up and that's the bowline. So hopefully that all makes sense. Um, if you have any comments, questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments section. If you enjoyed that, I appreciate a like and share, subscribe. Okay, thanks all.